Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Gutter. Uh, I'm Wade. Let's talk comics. Uh, this is going to be part 8 of the Screenwriter Collection, and we're going to look at boxes 18 and 19. Box 18 is licensed, as it was labeled. <clears throat> labeled. And box 19 is JLA, Fantastic Four, and Captain America minis. So let's kick it off with the license box. This box is called Licensed. Adventures of Ford Fairlane, number two, number four, Twilight Zone, number one, Miami Vice Remix, number one, Atari 2600 Centipede, number one, Big Trouble Little China Old Man Jack, Beach Action Figure Variant, Biff to the Future, number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five, number six. Princess and the Frog, one shot. Tron, original movie adaptation, number one. <clears throat> Indiana Jones, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, number one. Another number one. Stuck together. Two, three, Temple of Doom miniseries one, two, three, and Indiana Jones regular series number one. Further Adventures of Indiana Jones number 31, Blade Runner, uh, which is actually Marble, Marble Super Special number 22, Blade Runner. Blade Runner number one, The Island of Dr. Moreau number one, G.I. Joe Cobra action figure variant cover, G.I. Joe Dark Horse number one, Frank Miller cover, G.I. Joe number 52, G.I. Joe Special Missions number one, G.I. Joe number 51, 38, Transformers versus G.I. Joe number one, Two. Toxic Crusader number one. Battlestar Galactica number one. Uh, number one from the Dynamite publisher. And number one from Image Maximum. Sorry, that's not Image anymore. That's Maximum Press. Thundercats number one. Transformers number seven. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, number one. He-Man and the, Ma uh, and the Eternity War, number one. Wrath of the Titans, number one. Star Trek, number four and five. Stranger Things, number one, two. Mystery Science, C three, uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, the comic, number one. Transformers Ghostbusters, number one. Uh, IDW's Ghostbusters, number one. And Annual, probably number one, 2017. Big Trouble in Little China, number one. Two. Uh, Colonel Corps, number two. The Terminator from the Now series, number one. Dark Horse Terminator, number one. Creep Show from Image number one, and Planet of the Apes number one from Marvel. Superman and Bugs Bunny, Superman and Top Cat, Batman and Elmer Fudd, Harley Quinn and Gossamer, Deathstroke, Yogi Bear, The Flash and Speed Buggy. Super Sons and Dynamite, number one. Aquaman Jabberjaw. 
Green Lantern, Huckleberry Hound, Catwoman, Tweety, and Sylvester, Black Lightning, Hong Kong, Fooey, The Joker, Daffy Duck, uh, Nightwing, and Magilla Gorilla, Lex Luthor, Porky Pig, Martian Manhunter, and Marvin the Martian, Lobo, Roadrunner, Jonah Hex, Yosemite Sam, One Woman, Tasmanian Devil, uh, DC Universe vs. Masters of the Universe, Snagglepuss Chronicles 1, Jetsons, uh, Future Quest number 1, and number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Flintstones, number one, Wacky Race Land, number one, Scooby Apocalypse, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number one of Dastardly and Muttley. Space Ghost, Peter Quest, Space Ghost number one, Space Ghost one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, this is the old Comico Space Ghost one, uh, Future Quest, Space Ghost two, three, uh, Cartoon Networks from Archie, Space Ghost number one, Gumby's Winter Fun number one, and Gumby's Winter Fun Special number one. Dark Tower, number one, two, three, two variants, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, Dial In For Monkey from Cartoon Network in DC, and The Deep, number one, wow, just a couple more. Mongo Comics, Simpsons Comics, number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I'm oh, sorry, Radioactive Man, number one, I was on a roll, Radioactive Man, 88, 216, 412, 679, 1,000, Radioactive Man, 80-page uh, Colossal, number one, Bartman, number six, uh, Bartman, number five, Simpsons Comics, 29, and Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horror, number one. All right, the license box had a lot of fun things in it, uh, one of which is the Tron movie adaptation, uh, which came out with a new Tron movie, but this uh, adapts the original 1982 film in two parts so it's kind of cool get a chance to renovate an old property <clears throat> uh, i was looking up some sales and it was interesting that the three issue mini series of indiana jones and the temple of doom actually seems to outsell or is more valuable than the raiders of the lost ark uh, comic books which is kind of interesting to me but I'm um, guessing it just wasn't as heavily produced. There's a little scarcity to it. But there is the chance that everybody really liked Temple of Doom more than Raiders of the Lost Ark, I guess. But, uh, and then we had the first, uh, the ongoing series, The Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. It's a great comic. And then a couple of Blade Runners. The Marvel movie special, uh, number 22, which is the official adaptation of Blade Runner in rough shape but it's still a keeper and then uh the first uh, of the blade runner marvel comic series and they had a adaptation of hg wells island of dr moreau i saw this movie on tv when i was a kid and it freaked me out i don't know i've never been able to really revisit it since Maybe if all the lights are on and it's an afternoon, I can crack this open and take a look without getting too traumatized. 
Yeesh. All right. Uh, pales by comparison to a G.I. Joe 1, but there is a G.I. Joe Special Missions number 1 in this collection. And people thought I was crazy when I ordered a lot of these at my comic book store back in the day, but it was Toxic Crusaders number 1. Uh, cult classic. And I believe they're making a new Toxic Avengers one, so who knows? This could be a good spec. This is also a cool Sam Keith cover. And the original Battlestar Galactica number one. And a Star Comics Thundercats number one. They seem to be making, a, or all the Star Comics seem to do pretty well. A lot of great IP and nostalgia in there. And this is kind of cool. It was a Darwin Cook He Man, uh, The Eternity War number one. I'm sorry, he made the Eternity War number one with a Darwin Cook uh, variant cover. So it's uh, uh, a nice drawing, but it actually goes that way, which is crazy. What do they do next? Uh, Ghostbusters Annual number one from the IDW publisher. And this one I still can't wrap my head around, but it was a 2016, I guess it was San Diego Comic Con giveaway. Uh, this is the Kentucky Fried Chicken presents the second issue, uh, the Return to Grayson's for the all new Colonel McCord. There was a uh, separate giveaway for the first part of this. Uh, I think it must have been a year earlier, and then there was the one afterward. But uh, it's got a lot of press and actual critical acclaim, <laughs> interesting enough. And it's got the Justice League um, homage cover, which is fun. So this I may have to investigate further. Uh, Terminator had a few different. Uh, incarna incarnations. The first one was uh, the Now publisher. And later the rights went to Dark Horse. So we have the Terminator one from Now and the Terminator one from Dark Horse. And just a weird coincidence, I was wearing a t shirt that looked like Scooby Doo after the apocalypse. The design you may be familiar with, and a person I work with went, Oh, there's a Scooby Doo Apocalypse comic book series. I went, Oh, that's interesting. And then I went home that night and I cracked open one of the boxes, and sure enough, the set of six Scooby Doo Apocalypse were in that box. And then there was a whole bunch of uh, DC and Hanna Barbera mashups, and it, uh, that I thought was really a cool idea. And then I think, I think this was a separate. Uh, Publication from that release, but this was the Superman Bugs Bunny, and Mark Ever Evernier wrote that. So, and it's a hundred pager, which is cool. So they have a lot of Soup and Bugs stories to tell. But all those mashups between the Hanna Barbera and those DC characters is really cool. And speaking of mashups, you have the DC Universe versus the Masters of the Universe, and this looks like a conjoining cover or a joining cover, maybe conjoining. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> this is the J Justice League side of it. And then some more Hanna Barbera goodness with uh, the Future Quest number one featuring the Space Ghost team. And then going back a ways to the, uh, I think it was this comic, oh yeah, uh, Space Ghost number one by Steve Rude. A classic. And then a modernized Space Ghost number one. And for all you Art Adam collectors out there, Art Adams collectors, you know you know it's the Gumby Summer Fun Special and the Gumby Gumby's Winter Fun Special. I could always sell these, and I think I will hopefully always be able to sell these. These are amazing <laughs> kind of off-the-wall books with great Art, Art Adams artwork. Uh, he had the Stephen King's uh, The Dark Tower Gunslinger, is a Gunslinger Born. Uh, adaptation, which was in there, or maybe it's an original story. I don't understand that. But he had the whole set. And <clears throat> the Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horror, number one. Tons of good Bongo comics. That one in particular is a really good one. And then a personal favorite of mine. I'll pull this out. Uh, Radioactive Man 80 page special. And the reason this is a personal favorite of mine is I'm actually in this comic book. I was at the imaginary wedding of Lava Girl, Larva Girl, excuse me, and uh, Radioactive Man when Dr. Crab busts in. 
all right sorry about that <laughs> so i found the page uh it's during the wedding scene when dr crab busts in and this character right here is me and i have a line run for your lives this is my well, had some hair color there so i guess i'm officially part of the bongo and the simpsons universe so thanks to mr bill morrison for putting me in there i appreciate that all right well that's the license box uh let's move on to the Justice League Fantastic Four and Captain America miniseries box. This box is labeled JLA Fantastic Four Cap Minis. Ooh, this is a tight one. Tip for the kids at home, buy another box. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Fallen Sun, the death of Captain America. Don't see a number. They must be number, but. We'll say one, two, three. Oh, I see what we got down here. Okay, so we have Captain America, Wolverine, Avengers, Iron Man, Captain America Living Legend number one, Captain America The Chosen, Captain America White, Captain America White one. So this will be or something. Sorry, not familiar with these. Captain America White number two, number three, four, five, Truth, Red, White, and Black, The Future, part one, Red Skull Incarnate, one, Who is the new Captain America 25? All new Captain America 1. Captain America Comics number 1. Variant edition of some sort. Captain America Steve Rogers 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. Captain America number one. Oh, number seven. Hydra. Oh, okay. Hail Hydra is number one. Cap seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 25, 695, uh, Marvel Snapshots, Captain America number one, Justice League No Justice number one, number two, number two again, number three, number four, Justice League New 52 number one, number two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Justice League Zero, JLA number two, Justice League International number eighteen. Jelly number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. 
18, 94, 95, 96, 107, Justice League by Midsummer's Nightmare, number one, two, three, Justice League of America is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, JLA Justice League of America one, DC Universe Rebirth Justice League one, Justice League one, two, JLA Hitman one, two, Justice League versus Suicide Squad one, two, three, four, five, Six. Justice League Dark number one, two, three, and four. New Fantastic Four number one, two, four, five. The Thing number one, and two. Fantastic Four King Size Special number nine. Fantastic Four 281. Two eight, uh, 265. 282. Uh, 2099 AD Genesis number one. Fantastic Four 2099 number one. For First Family number one. Number two. Ultimate Fantastic Four, number 30, 31, 32, Fantastic Four, The Lost Adventure, Fantastic Four Story, The End of Fantastic Four, number one, Fantastic Four, okay, number 60, uh, Fantastic Four, number one, Number two, number three, uh, four, and thirteen. <clears throat> Fantastic Four, number nine, number eight, number seven, number six, number five, four. Three, two, and one. Uh, Fantastic Four, four, sixteen, three, forty-seven, three, forty-eight, three, forty-nine, three, fifty, uh, three, seventy-one, five, thirty-six, five, thirty-seven, five, fifty, five, forty-four. Uh, Fantastic Four number one, uh, 554, another number one variant, number two, FF number one, and FF number one. All right, Justice League, Fantastic Four, and JLA Minis, not in that order necessarily. The stack put on my lap here. So the Truth, Red, White, and Black, number one, features the first uh, Isaiah Bradley, who becomes Captain America after getting the Super Soldier Serum from Project Rebirth. I was completely unaware about this of this book, so I'd be interested to do some more investigating. And then we have Captain America 25 from the 2014 series, which is the first Sam Wilson as Captain America. And then the all-new Captain America number one from 2015, which is the first solo series with Sam Wilson as Captain America. And then they had a Captain America anniversary special uh, with the Jack Kirby tribute, sort of a highly rendered, sort of realistic version. Someone uh, got hired and 
uh, they asked him to paint Hitler. So it's kind of a strange thing, but I get it in context. Uh, Justice League one from the New Fifty Two with uh, Jim Lee artwork, and then sort of a throwback to the Justice League International as it was called at the time. Number eighteen, which had a Gar Guy Gardner Lobo battle, great cover too. And this is Justice League Dark number one, the Capullo variant. A lot of my favorite characters in there. And not worth much, but just a really good looking book. It uh, just instantly says, you know, Bronze Age. Uh, so the King Size Special Fantastic Four number nine. Lo, there shall be an ending. And then She Hulk joins the Fantastic Four number 265. Really good John Byrne cover. And like all things that come to an end, it's because of zombies. The ultimate Fantastic Four with a zombie cover. Oh, I'm not sure what number this is. 30. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for that. Um, we got more boxes to climb through uh, soon. And until then, keep your mind in the gutter.